right, so now we're going to go and jump into the Wii Stoken Awakens that are currently available on the global side of Doken Battle. So we're going to start off with the Mysterious Mentor Wiis. So um, his leader ability currently at SSR form is Agility, Intelligence, and Physical Type, HP, and Attack plus 20%. That's actually really not bad for an old school leader, SSR leader. Um, HP and attack are the two that you really want. Obviously, defense will come into play once you get above 100%. Or 100% actually is pretty good too. But for the leader ability of the old, old meta, he is really decent. Um, super attack, prelude to destruction, causes supreme damage to the enemy and lowers attack. Really good. I love that. So he does supreme damage and he lowers attack. Again, old meta, really good. His passive skill... Martial Arts Primer, all allies attack and defense plus 12%. Another good passive skill. This card is really good overall. Thing that kind of sucks about him is he's lacking link skills. It's Godly Power, Cold Judgment, Connoisseur, and Gentleman. So he's really meant to only link with Beerus and maybe like the Super Saiyan God Goku. Outside of those two, there's really not a lot of good linking buddies for him. But you know, there's some. there are some link skills and I mean one of them does regenerate health. So what can you say? Um, his stats really aren't bad either. HP of 8186, attack of 7294, and defense of uh, 4846. And he has a 12 key multiplier of 133%. Yeah, I don't know why it's 133%, but it is 133%. Overall, the Intelligence Weeks is probably one of my favorite cards. I do like the Technique one because of the, the ability to stun, which I'm going to go over in a little bit. But um, overall, I really enjoyed this Whis card. Um, I did want to say a couple things before we talk about his Doken Awakening. Like, first off, you can raise all the Whis' super attacks. Um, the Agility Whis, which is, um, I know I've mentioned this in multiple videos, Puzzle Wrapped in Enigma Whis. This is the Agility Whis card. He is an SSR. He falls and drops from the Hero Extermination Plan. Evil Powers Strike Back. He is available all the way down here, actually, um, from level 20 in Defiance of the Heaven. So overall, this is a very difficult level if you don't have good characters. I remember when this first first came out, and I had a lot of the OP characters. This event was a more of a pain in the butt. I went through a lot of items originally, but now considering um, the fact we have actual hero and villain leaders, this is a very easy event to beat. Um, but I just wanted to state that. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about his Doken Awakening. Um, he Doken Awakens with... Uh, not that one. He Doken Awakens with 12 Weast Medals, which again is available from either one of two events. Um, it's either going to be from the Hero Extermination Plan, again, the same, uh, the same event, just a different stage. Stage that it is available from is level 14 strongest under the heavens. Now, this is only going to be like your last resort stage to go just because it drops every single one of the medals from this event. Um, the, the event is actually currently available, or actually, this isn't available right now, but when the Battle of Gods event comes out, uh, make sure that you go and uh, farm the event. The Weast Metals are just level 2 in search of the Super Saiyan God. You can get them there, or you can go all the way down here to level 11, the best teacher in the universe, and grab the medals there, level 11, um, from the Battle of Gods event. So either one of those two, you can go and grind them. Personally, the Battle of Gods obviously is going to be easier because it's meant to grind from there. Um, so he will Doken Awaken into Guide of the New Beyond Weas. This card is freaking phenomenal. Leader ability, agility, intelligence, and physical type. Key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 20%. So now he is a mini god lead for those three types. Super attack is prelude to destruction. Causes supreme damage to the enemy and lowers attack. Same exact super attack. Passive skill, heightened spirit. Key plus two and attack and defense plus 20% for all allies. Unrestricted, not super only. That's for everyone, not intelligence only. Every attribute type. That is probably one of the best passive skills that you could possibly have. The only thing that can make it better is if he gave a higher attack and defense buff. Because honestly, key plus two is more than enough for what you normally need it for. Link skills are Godly Power, Connoisseur, Cold Judgment, Gentleman, Shocking Speed, and Shattering the Limit. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think he gained Shocking Speed because he didn't have it before. Yeah, he did. So, he gained two Link skills, which, you know, really freaking good. Uh, max stats are HP of 89.29, attack of 76.54, and defense of 51.28. He has now a 12 key multiplier of 135%. A little bit stinks. I wish it was 140%. Obviously, I always say that, but I do wish it was 140%. Overall, he's really not that bad. Just something a little bit different. I'm not going to go over the tech one until we go over the team building for this one, so let's go ahead and talk about it. Now, unfortunately, on a mono tech team, he really doesn't link well with anyone. I mean, there's no... Um, there's no intelligence beers. Did I say technique before? Um, there's no beers on an intelligence team, so he really has no one to link with. He has the Super Saiyan God Goku, Shocking Speed, Godly Power, and Shattering Limit, so that's four key 
and godly power attack plus 15 percent i mean to be honest to be very fair here he is a support unit because he's going to be on rotation he's going to be uh he's only going to come up once every third round because of that passive skill which is giving everyone attack defense and key buff but the fact of the matter is other than the god goku i mean he what he links with this freaking Korra, uh but the 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 uh, <laughs> uh metal Korra, meta Korra that he links with and outside of him it's really not that worth it i mean even at that point uh, attack of hatred attack plus 30 percent up and all uh, for all allies so yeah so even so the Korra is going to be uh, a support unit as well so they're not going to even have an ability to link together and dude, this is with this is with two key links i did a filter for this man the only two that showed up were these two so the only one he's possibly going to be linking with is the super saiyan god goku this beast is horrible on a mono intelligence team, at least for linking buddies. He's only going to be there for support. Um, yeah, that kind of sucks. But hey, you know what? He's still a good support unit. I'm not going to, you know, don't get me wrong. He's still a good support. Um, he does a little bit better on a mono heroes team, obviously, because of the Beeruses that he has to link with. You have the World Tournament TUR Beerus that's available. The uh, standard Doken exclusive uh, Beerus, which is the, the, the technique one that goes into rage mode. And the strength one that everyone knows and loves because of his uh, high probability of attack plus 200%, which is freaking phenomenal. Um, so with the World Tournament, Shocking Speed... Uh, Shattering the Limit for Key plus 4 Connoisseur, which is a standard link between Be uh, and Weiris. Beerus and Weiss, uh, Godly Power plus 15%. Um, the same thing, essentially, Shocking Speed, Connoisseur, Godly Power between the Beerus and the Weisses. Uh, they just don't have the uh, Shattering the Limit just because that's not the Doken Awakenings that they got. Um, obviously, like I said before, the Intelligence Godku card. And, uh, you know, oddly enough, he links very well with Paikuhan for Gentleman Key plus 2, Shocking Speed plus 2, and Cold Judgment which is not really that good on the global side um, but he's pretty you know decent i think it's attack plus 20 percent defense plus 20 percent on the jp side so i mean on a mono heroes team not phenomenal see the thing is on a heroes team you're probably going to want at least to be on rotation with um or off rotation off of the actual rotating side and be paired with beerus for that uh hp regeneration I mean, obviously, if you're running uh, Weiss on here if as just a support unit, he's going to do his job. You don't need any of these cards on that to, for him to do his job as a passive, uh, you know, for his passive. But, you know, uh, if you do have a, a Beerus over here, you know, you're probably going to want to run the two of them together just for that HP regeneration. Overall, not a bad card. He does do decent um, for a team. Not really good for links, but really good for this passive skill. Now let's go ahead and talk about the Technique Weiss. Enigmatic Power Weiss. His leader ability is Agility, Technique, Strength, Type, Attack, and Defense plus 25%. Super Attack Prelude to Destruction causes supreme damage to the enemy and lowers attack. Passive skill, God of Destruction's Companion. High chance of stunning the attacked enemy. Link skills, Godly Power, Shocking Speed, Connoisseur, and Gentleman. Max stats are HP of 84.98, attack of 71.93, and defense of 51.24. He has a 12 key multiplier of 140%. Like the other intelligence Weiss, he can have the enigmatic Weiss, the agility Weiss from the hero extermination event uh, to feed into his super attack. And he token awakens with 12 of the Weiss medals from the same exact two levels that I mentioned earlier. When he Doken Awakens, he Doken Awakens into Imprinted Discipline Weiss. His new leader ability is Agility Technique and Strength Type Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 30%. I like that a little bit better, um, just because it's a higher attack buff, uh, at HP Attack and Defense buff. He's not still not going to be a primary unit, um, but because he does multiple types, he can run as a rainbow leader for you guys. Um, super Attack is Prelude to Destruction, causes Supreme Damage to the enemy and lowers attack. Passive skill, God of Destruction's Master, attacked enemies, attack minus 20%, um, high chance to stun the attacked enemy. That is freaking crazy. I love that passive skill on him. Not only is he a good unit, you can get him to super attack 10, but his passive skill reduces the enemy's attack. I, I don't know why, I just really love that ability, and he has a high chance to stun the enemy. So he's like, all right, hey, I'm going to reduce your attack in case my stunning doesn't work, but chances are I'm going to stun you and you won't be able to attack at all. <laughs> Link skills are Godly Power, Connoisseur, Cold Judgment, Gentleman, Shocking Speed, and Shattering the Limit. So he, gathers, he get, gets the Shattering the Limit link. Max stats are HP of 9021, attack of 7433, and defense of 5358, and a 12 key multiplier of 100. 40%. Overall, not a bad unit. I like him for his stunning ability. Obviously, guys, um, the intelligence are really the stunners, but the fact that you have an intel a technique one that is is pretty damn good. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the team building real quick. So on a mono technique team, first off, he does have the beers here that he can that he does link with. 
um, this is the one that has rage mode remember you also do have the SR that Dokun awakens into an SSR let's actually just bring him up real quick uh, while we're here doing this live uh, both of those Beerus are available for him if you want to try and link with him um, you're gonna have the connoisseur link so that way you're gonna get the um, the actual HP recovery and you're gonna get the attack buffs so that's not horrible there he is um, three key links right there as well so let's see what he has shocking speed connoisseur godly power shocking speed connoisseur godly power so yeah so if you are lacking the uh, rage mode beerus you do have the second tier sr that doken awakens into an ssr to link with him um, for those link skills so keep that in mind uh, again with the paikuhan he has gentlemen and i believe it's shocking speed yep so that's key plus four uh weird no nova shenron gentlemen cold judgment uh, shocking speed and shattering the limit so didn't realize how well he linked with nova shenron it's really odd that he does but hey you know what whatever works we'll throw him down there and then a uh, raleigh which i believe is a shocking speed and shattering the limit yep so uh outside of this guys it's really like obviously we and beers because they're monotech team yeah the way i've always done it if i'm running a monotech team if i bring one i'm bringing the other and i'm keeping them off of the rotation block keeping them together so that way they're always up and they're always regenerating hp they're always attacking giving each other attack buffs and key buffs um but overall i mean this week he, he is not going to be someone i'm going to recommend to run he's not a good support unit there are definitely other cards that are better than him but the fact is if you don't have better cards to run he has a freely grindable super attack and not only that it's a it's a farmable super attack with an ssr variant so you don't need to waste any zenny or any awakening metals to get him to ssr or again the super attack 10 um and he has some decent other linking uh, buddies and last but not least on a mono heroes team as stated before he has the three beer assists. it's the same exact links as before as the other weeps so i'm not going to go in depth on that uh it's actually it's the same thing with the godku card and the paikuhan so overall it really i mean uh the two weeps have the same linking buddies mono heroes team they're going to have the same exact effect personally on a mono heroes team if you don't have any of the beer assists, it's going to be the intelligence weeps if you have a beers um just for the linking purposes, I would say run them together and keep them on the same rotation block so that way none of them gets off and you get the HP recovery. But overall, guys, that's it. That's the two Weezes. Personally, I still like the Intelligence one better than the Technique one. Technique one is still good for stunning, even if you don't have the Beerus, but that's just my opinion. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for joining me here today. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later.